100 of Atlantic Canada's finest young athletes. RBC Training Ground has brought them to Halifax to see who was the raw talent to be a future Olympian. There's so much athletic potential here, but officials from the 11 national sport organizations can only choose one. We have four standouts, two on the guy's side and two on the women's side, and overall, given all the feedback, our winner for the day looks to be number 68 on the, on the guy's side. The winner of RBC Training Ground, Andrew Wood. So I've always had, I guess, an inner confidence in my athletic capability, but uh, my outer confidence was never there. I, when my name was called, I guess it kind of just validated my inner confidence. This is St. John's, Andrew Wood's home. <laughs> Andrew followed his father and brother and became an exceptional high school basketball player. Then in university, he excelled as a sprinter. I guess growing up in St. John's, Newfoundland, it was always a struggle to get the funding and the resources to get off the island and travel. I guess over time that built fear into me and didn't have really any expectation in that sense in my athletic capabilities. Andrew is a Newfoundlander through and through. When he was younger, he turned down the chance to move away and play basketball in Ontario. He knows he'll probably have to pack up and leave if he really wants to pursue his Olympic dream. That was a huge regret of mine, not moving away and kind of getting out of my comfort zone at that time. So the chance of moving away now, instead of it making me nervous, it gets me really excited. His explosiveness and speed caught the attention of several sports federations, including Cycling Canada. They've asked him to hop on a plane and come here to Milton, Ontario and the National Cycling Centre. Even if you're afraid, don't slow down and you'll be okay. Watching closely is Cycling Canada's Jesse Korf. Slow down and then get into the blue. What we would be looking for here is how an athlete, or injury in this case, behaves on a bike, how fast he picks things up. Yeah, it's super tiring. This one. Several days after Andrew's tryout, Jesse calls to tell them what they found. We we're all very excited. We would like to move forward and actually fast track you towards, uh, towards our team and, um, and welcome you on board, if you will. Awesome, well, I appreciate that very much. I got like a week just to mold it over with my parents and whatnot, do some self-reflection, but it's all exciting to hear. Andrew's excited about where RBC Training Ground will lead him and others in the future. I think it's a great, great program. You know, I'm excited to actually spread the word back in Newfoundland and hopefully get some local athletes to try out and succeed or even be be do better than I did this year. <laughs>